What's up, Yogi? It's Hero, and today we're going to cover wrist strength. We spent a lot of time on our wrists in yoga, even in a resting, resting pose like downward facing dog. We're still on our wrists. So uh, what I see in, in, in my classes or if you're a teacher, you see in your classes is there's a lot of stretching of the wrist, but really we should be strengthening them. So the first thing that we're going to do, one of my favorite exercises and something that I do in my own practice as well, is we're going to start off in a tabletop position. And from your tabletop position, instead of um, just pressing into the knuckles, we're going to take a little action into our fingers as well. So here I'm hugging my fingertips back and I'm going to lift up the heels of my palms, pressing into the knuckles. And especially since I personally like to do a lot of inversion work, I'm actively squeezing my forearms in towards each other as I do this. This is going to build up a lot of strength, especially in your flexors in your forearm, the action that does this with your hand. Um, try that out like 10 times. That's a great warm up. The next one we're going to do is we're going to take it a step further and build a little bit more strength in the hand as well as the wrist. So instead of coming up onto the knuckles, we're going to press the finger pads down into the ground and come up onto the fingertips and back down. Fingertips and back down. You can control how much weight you're bearing into your fingers. If you're new to this, lean back a little bit. That'll take some of the pressure out. Okay. You're really working on your handstands and press handstands. Lean forward into your fingertips. Maybe lean into your three fingers really build up the strength okay so try those two exercises out and then we're going to find ways of building more strength in a wider range of motion so especially if you like a flow class a vinyasa class there's a lot of flip dogs or changing positions especially for a practice like mine where i like to get into weird funky movements so we're going to grab a towel open the towel up and you can do this just with one hand. I think it's a little bit easier with finding movement. I'm gonna place my left hand down onto the towel and I'm gonna do the first exercise. The first exercise, which is pressing the fingertips down and squeezing back. I'm gonna come up onto my knuckles, just my knuckles. And as I do this, I'm gonna start externally rotating my hand all the way back trying to keep the knuckles down let me move the towel so that you can see and then do the same thing as i rotate all the way around and you can even take it a little bit further trying to face the fingers back okay and you can do the same thing i'm going to use the other hand because this arm is getting a little sore you can do the same thing onto your fingertips. So pressing into the finger pads as you slowly start to twist the towel. Kind of looks like a little jellyfish too. Whoop, whoop, I'm such a dork. <laughs> and you can take it all the way back the other way. And this is great because we don't usually do a lot of lateral motion in yoga or rotations. A lot of these transitions are very into a pose, out of a pose, into a pose, out of a pose. So this is gonna build a wider functional range of strength. All right, so if you like this, thumbs up, questions, comment, I'll answer all of them.